Okay, let's now go to quantitative research. Ang una nating uh, topic would be the nature of inquiry and research. Okay, so first thing that we did is to watch the quantitative research video, which you can find on YouTube channel. This is the address. But let me summarize it. Sabi dun sa video, ang quantitative research daw is numerically focused. So expect nyo na maraming numbers. Okay? It requires detailed attention to the measurements of the phenomena. Kung ano man yung experiment ninyo, naglagay kayo ng langis, isang uri ng langis sa buhok, pampalambot or pampakintab, ilang minuto ninyo nilagay, okay? ilang beses, Ano ang mixture ng langis and all those measurements. Titalyado ang attention nyo dapat doon. Often requires statistical analysis o ang quantitative research kailangan ng statistical analysis so review na ninyo. Ngayon pa lang ang inyong statistics and probability lessons. Kunyari, hotel reviews its overall service. Is it excellent, good, poor, or very poor? Okay, pwede nyo nga uh, malaman kung uh, on the measurement skills na ito, ano ang overall service ng isang hotel? Is it uh, excellent, good, poor, or very poor? And every respondent is asked the same series of questions. Kung ano ang tinanong mo kay Pedro, yun din ang itatanong mo kay Juan, kay Ana, kay Marie. Hindi naman pwedeng iba-iba. The approach is very structured. Okay? Structured siya because step by step and normally involves large numbers of interviews and questionnaires. So, mag-expect na kayo ng maraming data or maraming respondents. Okay? Example, and the most popular is the market research surveys. Okay? Sa survey na to, pwede kayong face-to-face, -face, telephone interview, email or web techniques. And the questionnaire is the more popular tool for collecting data. Yun ang summary ng video. Okay, let's move on. What is the learning objective? By the end of this booklet, the learner should be able to describe the characteristics, strengths, weaknesses, and kinds of quantitative research. Okay? And let us define first. Ano ba ang quantitative research? It's an organized and structured process of collecting and analyzing data using statistical tools to derive and present results. It is conclusive within its limitations using sound statistical analysis to project results to a wider population. So, ibig sabihin, kukuha ka ng isang maliit na grupo from the population na representative naman ng malaking populasyon. Organize mo ang resulta, structured process ng pagkolekta ng data, analyze, Analyze mo yung data, gamitan mo ng mga statistical tools nang sa ganun maipresent mo yung resulta at conclusions ng sound and correct na pwedeng i-apply sa wider population. Okay? Now, quantitative research deals with numbers, logic, and the usual research objective. Okay? So, uh, expect na ninyo, quantitative means numbers, then the designs are descriptive, the subjects are measured once, and associations between variables are established or experimental. The subjects are measured before and after treatment, and causality are often established. Okay, the goal is prediction. O oh, yan ha, kaya kagmagawa ng quantitative research, gusto mo magpredict anong pwedeng mangyari kung ganito ang gagamitin mo. And in the future, ano ang magiging resulta? Based on given collected data. It aims to develop and employ mathematical models. Yan ang mga statistical models na gagamitin natin. Theories and hypotheses pertaining to natural phenomena. Measuring is key in quantitative research. So, maraming measurements. As relationships between data and observations, are shown. Okay? So, the next topic will be the characteristics of quantitative research. For the meantime, 
ina muna and goodbye and see you in the next lesson. Okay?